legislature could amend the state constitution, though that is pretty unlikely. Lawmakers could also move to repeal the law that voters approved back in November. Maine's constitution says the winner of an election must receive a plurality of votes cast. Here's part of today's ruling from the Supreme Judicial Court. If, after one round of counting, a candidate obtained a plurality of the votes but not a majority, that candidate would be declared the winner according to the Maine Constitution as it currently exists. According to the Act, the Ranked Choice Voting Act, however, that same candidate would not then be declared the winner. That's the gist of it. Supporters of the Ranked Choice Voting Campaign say it is the law of the land, so the legislature needs to figure out a way to make it work. Campaign manager Kyle Bailey points out that the Senate only asked the court about elections for federal representatives and governor. His position is that down-ballot races were never in question and should be run the new way. We hope the legislature will take action to fully implement ranked choice voting in accordance with the will of Maine people uh, and do what their constituents want, which is to have a better voting system. Maine was the first state to vote to implement ranked choice voting statewide. State Senate President Mike Thibodeau says he's not entirely sure what the legislature will decide to do next. I'm Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.